Hey, g'day guys, welcome to episode two. In this episode, we're gonna be making the valve train components, so let's crack on with it. This is a fixture that I've made uh, to help me grind the camshaft profile. I've made a dummy camshaft out of aluminium here, uh, just welding up the lobes and grinding them back to suit the profile that I wanted. Um, this is it set up on the mill, all ready for action. So we go through to the grinding process. This is how the grinding process works. It's a um, bit ag, but it, it does actually do a pretty precise job. The lobes, the lobe surface is nice and square and flat, and um, yeah, it seems to work pretty well. Okay, so here we are with uh, the sub rockers have been made out of aluminium and they're uh, just templates to get the valve lift and, and ratios right. So if I remove them, these ones that I've made here. And here's the other one. It goes on there. And then we've got how inlet ones they go, that goes there. Now I've made this one. So this now goes on here. Now we've got to make this one. This one sits here like so. So as per usual, we use a bit of layout die to uh, set all the, the critical dimensions on the, the piece of material. Um, cut it in half so I can pin the two uh, pieces together and that way I can make two at the one time in the mill. So here's all the operations of um, basically what goes on to make a rocker out of a piece of steel. So this is nearly the finished article. It uh, still has a couple of operations left to do. I still have to case harden all these parts um, and just grind them to final dimension as well. So we're pretty much there. As you can see, we've got all the valve train assembled here and all seems to be rotating and spinning over fairly smoothly. So um, we've just about got the the sub rocker assemblies all finalized so things are going well this is the beginnings of the uh, de manual decompression cam it runs behind the main camshaft its idea is to help the engine to start okay so to start these bikes they're either pedal started or towed with another motorcycle to get them up to speed and, and get them running. So to initially crank the engine over, you need to release the compression in the engine. So that's what this little mechanism in the back of the camshaft is for. When you move this lever over, it actually lifts up the exhaust rockers, which then decompresses the cylinder. So the engine will rotate over smoothly and easily. And then as some momentum is gathered in the engine, then the lever is released 
and the engine has its full compression and off it bumps and, and off, we're off and running. Okay, so we've got all the rotating assembly all together. Now we just need to make a cover for it all to keep uh, all the oil in and keep it lubricated. So this is the way I've gone about uh, manufacturing a cam chest to look like the original. We start with a paper template just to make sure that it's dimensionally correct against the crankcase and then go on to construct it out of bits and pieces of timber, um, making sure that you use all the correct uh, draft angles and all that sort of thing, and adding all the finer detail to make it look as close to the original as we can get it, and then finally coating it with some paint. So we get a few car pieces, uh, stick them in the furnace and melt them down, and then Hopefully we can have a decent pour that um, gives us a part without any failure in the pouring process. Sorry about my filming here, it's a bit grainy and horrible. The moment of truth. This is where we find out if we had a successful pour or not. Just keep chipping away at it and hopefully everything's turned out okay. I'm pretty sure we uh, had a successful cast. Just looking at it, it seems to have all um, flowed really nicely don't have any cold shuts or anything like that it turned out quite well so this is sort of getting onto the finished article with a few machining processes involved both inside and out so it's looking something like the finished article we've got push rods going up and down where they're supposed to uh, it all rotates nice and smoothly, so I'm going to call that a result. So until next time, keep on machining.